Hello and welcome to at Legoland Dubai and we're about to take a look around the huge big shop. So it does say the big shop which is a massive Lego store that they have located inside of the Legoland Park. Now inside all of the different Legoland Parks around the world every single layout is completely different including the huge models that they've got on display as well. So the layout of this store had changed quite a lot since I came uh, a few years back. They had actually relocated all the tills. It did feel that there was a little bit more space inside the store as well but but just like the last visit, they have a huge amount of stock on display. And you can see just the quantity of all of the massive boxes that they've got side by side. And of course, they've got all the smaller sets, all the different brick heads. And then they've got all the bits and pieces that you don't find at your local Lego store as well. So we'll go around for the next 10 minutes or so and explore all of the different sets that they have on offer. And of course, we'll be stopping to take a look at all of the bigger models that they've got inside the store as well. Now, with regards to this store compared to all the others, they are just almost as big as each other. They're not far off. So the Legoland stores are huge compared to a bog standard size flagship store. But then saying that, obviously you've got the new one that has just opened in Australia. Then you've got the double level one that is in London as well. So ground square footage is very, very impressive. But having all the sets on one level on display like this, it is something else. Now, I did say in the last Big Shop upload that the Legoland California store had a very, very impressive uh, display within their window, as did the store in Malaysia as well. So there is a full Legoland shop video playlist available if you want to start comparing them for yourself. And I will also be doing side-by-side -side comparison videos sooner rather than later with regards to who had the better stock and all of that kind of thing as well. So if you have been to this Legoland before, let me know what you think, because this Legoland Park has a huge water park bolted onto the side. And yes, this was two days after that giveaway had come out. So you could actually buy the poly bag inside the store for 15 local currency of the AED. But for the more expensive um, pack, which you would get with the transporter or the tra troop pack, I think it was, you did have to spend a certain price point like you did online to be able to get that. But I was quite surprised that you could easily get this one. Now, the actual uh, flagship store in Abu Dhabi did not have these bits and pieces yet. It, they didn't quite make it there. So they managed to re get it to Dubai before the floods, but then they actually got stuck in transportation on the way over to Abu Dhabi. So then there was actually a month delay until the brand new Star Wars giveaway purchases came out. But again, that flagship store is already available up on the Lego Stores channel. Now you can see, or should I say the Lego Stores playlist, because obviously it's all set underneath this one channel. Now you can see you've got all the huge selection of the Lego Technic bits and pieces, and what I do like about all of the Legoland parks, you have all the brick display windows as well. So you can easily stop off, stick your head through it and just see the size and scale of absolutely everything. And then you've got lots and lots of poly bags mixed in with the Speed Champion cars. That's something I haven't, don't think I've seen before, but I really do like the fact that they put all of the same style bits and pieces, including the poly bags, close together. And if you are eagle-eyed, you'll be able to see that you've got the new 4 Plus Star Wars and as it wraps around, you've got the brick heads. Then you've got all the books. So you've got every Every single Star Wars book at the bottom with all of the exclusive minifigures. Then going across the top, you then got all the diorama pieces. Then you got all the UCS sets. And then you got all the display pieces as well, all grouped together. Now, that is something I really don't think I have seen at any of the other Legoland stores before. So every single Legoland store just puts its own touch on things. California had all of the luggage. Uh, Winds is obviously very impressive now with regards to the amount of bits and pieces they got on display. Malaysia with their shop window at the front with all of the really old Star Wars sets. You had the Super Star Destroyer and the Star Destroyer all beside each other. And then you had the original, I do believe, Death Star as well. That was very, very impressive to see. Then you had the huge amount of models that each one has on offer. And all of the models all seem to be different depending on what Legoland you go to. Now, when we get to it, there was something quite special at this one because if you had not caught anything from the Expo, so there was a 2020 Expo that got delayed until 2021, inside the Denmark store or the sort of canopy thing that they had, huge, huge area that each one of these places had, there was an enormous Lego display outside the front, which has now made its way over to this store. So I think that is a really, really nice touch because it wasn't part of the, uh, the Dubai Expo as such with regards to the actual Dubai 
place. It was over in the world of Denmark. And the fact that they have now moved it over to here, I think it does look very, very impressive because it is an absolutely enormous Viking ship. So if you haven't yet seen that for yourself, you will see that towards the end of this video. And you can see they've got a massive selection of Ninjago bits and pieces, again, mixed in with all the larger sets, the backpacks and the visual dictionaries and guides and all that kind of thing. And of course, you've got all the luggage tags and the backpacks, and then you've got other little bits and pieces dotted around as well. Now, of course, all of the artwork for the lifts and the doors, they're the bits and pieces that you see on the wall, just make it look very, very special because as you walk around, you don't really think about having all the other little bits and pieces and all the doors to walk through. Big, big Disney selection as well as we start going around. They've got the Disney cast off seat down at the bottom. You've got the up house in the middle. And then you've got all of the smaller ones that are available as well, all in the middle. So you have, I think, almost every single Disney set available all in one line, which is nice to see. And they still have a lot of space for the Lego City and the Lego Friends as well, because this store wraps around a corner and it just keeps going. So you have actually two big doors on the way in for this one. So you've got two ways in and two ways out, which is quite nice. You've got a nice little horseshoe. And at one point, there was a third door. And that was right at the start that we saw just by the sort of the stormtrooper, but they have that blocked off. And I don't think that's been open since COVID because I'm not too sure if you used to be able to get into the store without a ticket from the outside because the store is literally next door to the water park as well. So when we do a full park tour and we start walking around and exploring all the different bits and pieces, keep your eyes peeled for that because it is in a very, very handy location right on the corner of the theme park where you can get into it as you come into the entrance of the theme park, or you could have come out of the water park and then come straight in as well, which is now something that you can't really do. So you also have to speak to a member of staff. I think you'll be able to get in for free for about an hour, maybe half an hour, and then you come back out again, but you do have to pay for a full ticket and then you get refunded, I do believe. That's how it does work for the Legoland parks. But of course, it's always worth just going around the Legoland itself because there's the huge mini land a little bit further on. So all of the videos will be available in the Legoland Dubai playlist. So keep your eyes peel for all of the uploads for that because you've got the miniland stuff which is very very impressive because of course that is all indoors that is the first one that is a purpose-built indoor venue and they do have some very very large scale models on display but again with regards to the lego city stuff you can see they've got all the poly bags mixed in with all of the current space sets so lego went absolutely berserk for the lego space over in 2024 and they started to go quite heavy for the lego city bits and pieces as well now this was filmed obviously at the date it was filmed so not all of the stuff that is on the lego website will be here because by the time you start to watch it there might be the odd set that is missing or again just be careful because if you are watching this from the future one or two of the sets now might be discontinued but when i start doing the comparison videos it's quite interesting to do a side-by-side -side comparison video of dubai because obviously not only will we see the huge difference in stock over the sort of 24 months but you will also see the different layout in the store as well now these were something a little bit different you can see you've got these big sort of brick storage boxes so they did look quite impressive and obviously they do stack on top of each other then you've got all of the bricks up on the roof now on the roof at this Legoland compared to some of the others there was nothing up there apart from the lighting but it does seem to be that some of the Legoland parks now really do make you look up and they do have a lot of stuff dangling from the ceiling as well but as we make our way down into the younger section the Duplo stuff that is handily right beside the door so you don't have to put your push chair all the way through if you don't want to you can literally come to here and then you can almost take like the shortcut to the till and then you can easily get all the different bits and pieces paid for so for product location for the duplo stuff it's very very handy and then there is another photo opportunity just here i think they did have some friends bits and pieces either in here or the last time i came and you can also see here you've got this big Duplo bus so everything on this side it's all for the younger ones you can see you've got all the bricks you've got the backpacks you've also got the storage heads as well so it's a quite a nice thing to see and obviously if you need the large or small storage containers it's easy enough to pick up the stuff that you need to just and of course you've got all of the books and then you've also got all the other Lego classic bricks now moving on to the castle that did look very very impressive indeed so the, this thing built up I've seen this now at a couple of different Legoland parks and just seeing it open I think is the way to display it but if you have it open like that then obviously on the back you would have to have all the tiles and everything down and i just don't know if i've got the display space for it to be open and with it closed knowing it looks so good open i would have to rearrange my whole display 
to make it work. But at the same time, it is an extremely impressive looking set. And of course, they've got all the different three and one sets, all the different Lego creator bits and pieces. So I'm now literally just wrapping around very, very quickly for some of the smaller sets. We've done the outer edge, which is where all the main expensive sets are. Now, all of these are obviously the easy grabbable bits and pieces as you go from one side to another. You've got all the Lego Dream stuff, huge selection of Lego Dreams at this store. Obviously, they are still selling very, very well indeed. And then you can see you've got some more stuff on the other side as well. And then as we pan around onto the next section, that then moves on to this, which is obviously all of the flowers, which is new in store for them. But we've got just over a minute left. So if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Again, in the comment section below, let me know if you've been to the Legoland in Dubai. What do you think of the store? What do you think of the other little shops that are available and all those kind of things? And if you haven't, but this is the first time you're seeing this store, how does this Legoland store compare to your local Lego store? Now, the nice thing is, is this. This is the first time I've seen this inside the store. They've obviously relocated this because this was outside one of the Legoland hotel entrances. And now it seems to have all chopped and changed ever so slightly. And of course, you've got this one as well. And if you spotted it, there was a big Ninjago character just at the back as well. But this is from the expo. So I didn't think I'd ever see this again. This was outside the Danish section. And it was just out the front. I saw it at night and the video is uploaded somewhere on the channel but has absolutely nothing to do anything Lego related whatsoever. And then we're going to finish off with some bits and pieces from Harry Potter before we spin around and have a look at the last couple of sets before the video finishes. So with that being said, guys, again, one more time, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and I'll see you next one. Ta-da.